something that I completely forgot to talk about in my previous tutorials was how to render your 3D models. And uh, simplest way to get the look that I usually use, like this, no shadows, just pure texture. Select your object, go down to your materials page here, and over here just hit shadeless. If I uh, render it here with the shadeless off, well, that doesn't look quite right. Oh, because there's no light source. There we go. That doesn't look quite right. So, what I usually just do is turn on shadeless and everything works. Something else that I did not touch on was camera control. Normally, we're in front view or side view. This little icon right here, that's the camera. To get into camera view, hit the zero key on your numpad, and that'll put you into the camera's view. You can hit G to, to grab and move it, R to rotate. All the controls are the same as they would be in a normal situation, except instead of moving that object, you're moving the camera. When you hit render, whatever is within these boxes here will be rendered. Anything outside of it will not be. You can change the sides, the size of this box by going into the render tab and over here. So 800 by 800. Well, let's do something different. Uh, 400. There we go, and you'll notice that the size is completely different. And if I hit render, it's huge. You can also turn on your anti-lizing, but I don't like using that because it makes it it defeats the purpose of the whole low poly look.